The story of Orpheus and Eurydice is the tragic love story, and perhaps one of the most famous myths in ancient Greece. Orpheus was a legendary musician, poet, and prophet in ancient Greek mythology. He was the son of the muse Calliope and the god Apollo, inheriting a divine gift for music. Orpheus' lyre playing was so enchanting that it could charm animals, trees, rocks, and even the gods themselves. No god or mortal could resist his music, and even the trees would move themselves to be near him. It was at one such gathering of humans and beasts that his eyes fell on a nymph. Eurydice, a beautiful nymph, captured Orpheus's heart, and the two fell deeply in love, unable to spend a single moment apart. They were married, and their love was celebrated by all who knew them, and Hymenaeus, the god of marriage, blessed their marriage and then a great feast followed. However, their happiness was short-lived. Shortly after their wedding, Eurydice was wandering through a meadow when she was pursued by Aristeus, a minor god who desired Eurydice for his own. As she fled from him, she stepped on a poisonous snake and was bitten. The venom quickly took her life, and she descended into the underworld, the realm of the dead. Overcome with grief, Orpheus decided to go to the underworld to bring Eurydice back. He played his lyre and sang mournful songs that moved everyone who heard them. Armed with his weapons and lyre, Orpheus approached Hades and demanded entry into the underworld. His music softened the hearts of Hades, the god of the underworld, and his queen Persephone. Moved by Orpheus's sorrow, they agreed to allow Eurydice to return to the living world. But with a strict condition, Orpheus must not look back at Eurydice as they ascended to the surface until they were both fully out of the underworld. Orpheus began the journey back to the upper world, with Eurydice following behind him. As they neared the exit, Orpheus, overcome with doubt and longing, turned around to look at Eurydice. Tragically, because he looked back before she had fully left the underworld, she vanished, pulled back into the depths, and lost to him forever. Devastated by the loss, Orpheus wandered the world, playing sad songs that reflected his heartache. His music was so beautiful and mournful that it moved everyone who heard it, even the wild beasts and the elements of nature. Eventually, Orpheus met a tragic end. He was killed by Manad's followers of Dionysus, the god of wine. They tore him apart in a frenzy because he refused to honor Dionysus. After his death, Orpheus's soul descended to the underworld, where he was finally reunited with Eurydice. This time they could be together for eternity, free from the constraints and sorrows of the mortal world. The gods honored Orpheus by placing his lyre among the stars as the constellation Lyra.